Hello, my name is Jose Montes and I am principal of Marco Antonio Fireball High School. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the class of 2020. We are incredibly proud of your accomplishments and all your efforts during your time here at Fireball High School, especially during the last few months and the circumstances we have faced. We know that while graduations and events and meetings are all virtual now, we look forward to the day when we can meet with our senior class and celebrate together. We know that your time here as a Falcon has prepared you for the future challenges that lie ahead. So for that reason, I want to take once again this opportunity to congratulate the class of 2020. Class of 2020, you have overcome some incredible challenges to be here today. We are all so very proud of you. Congratulations, felicidades. Good evening, Linwood community, teachers, staff, parents, and especially the graduating class of 2020. I'm so sorry we're not having this celebration like we normally would. I had hoped we would have defeated this virus by now and would be able to gather in your honor of your amazing accomplishments but we still have some work to do, and we'll have to come back to that at a later date. For now, we want to celebrate the end of one journey and wish you well as you embark upon another. Graduating under any circumstances is an accomplishment that should be rightfully celebrated. What you all have done in getting here today is something that none of us have done before. When we closed schools in March, we knew that doing so would have a measurable impact on our community. Closing schools here wasn't just about closing buildings and moving learning online, because in our community, schools are more than about just learning. Here, schools are the most essential institution in our community. They are social service centers that support, guide, mentor, feed, educate, train, house, and mold generations of young people each year. Here, schools might be the only place that some of our young people find encouragement safe spaces, and supportive adults. In Linwood and communities like ours, schools are safety nets. So when this pandemic threatened our community, Linwood schools and Linwood kids stepped up. Being a kid from Linwood, you are endowed with power that can move mountains. And the only limitations we have in life are the ones we place on ourselves. Linwood kids learn and grow here and come back to uplift our community and care for the next generation of leaders. Whether you've been in Linwood schools for one year or for all 12, chances are you've come across a Linwood kid in every level of leadership in our district. We saw that on full display with Linwood kids like Audrey Casas and Patty Rodriguez through the Mastering Hope Initiative, stepping up to make sure our beloved community had access to critical supplies, resources, and food by raising tens of thousands of dollars in the effort. 
Linwood kids like those on our school board and city council united to create partnerships across the city to provide vital resources, services, and created weekly food distributions through a food pantry in collaboration with local churches and nonprofits. Because that's what Linwood kids do. We see a call to action and harm faced in our community and rise to the occasion, just like so many of you have done. When I think about this amazing class, I think of students like Evelyn Marquez, who had an interest in a career in the STEM field, but noticed the lack of women who looked like her in the profession. She decided to form her own organization called Girls Who Code, which had an annual conference aimed at helping create pathways for girls to enter the field. She is now heading to her dream college, USC, with a very bright future ahead of her. Fight on. I also think about students like Shulamite Hurst, YBASU president for two years at Fireball. She rose above many obstacles in her life, like being in the foster care system, living in transitional housing, and taking two metro trains from her group home every day to get to Fireball. In doing so, she earned acceptance to Cal State Dominguez Hills and also has been able to join their cheer team. Your grades, awards, college acceptances or rejections, or even your past do not define who you are. Your purpose does. To have found purpose is to have found success. I cannot guarantee you that the college you attend or the job or career path you choose will make you happy, but finding your purpose will. Knowing at the end of each day that you made a difference in someone's life will. Going to bed with a sense of fulfillment will. Working to uplift your community will. Purpose crosses disciplines. It is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on this planet at this particular time in history. The struggles and challenges you encounter along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose and push you that much closer to whom you are destined to be and refine and add depth to your character. Typically, someone in my position stands in front of young people to send them out to the next journey. Speaking of change and the unfamiliar as part of the natural ebb and flow of life. We talk about the fact that growing up means becoming familiar with constant change and needing to be resilient, persistent, and nimble. But the public health crisis we are facing now presents us with a tremendous challenge. The world we know seems to be changing by the minute. More so, it gives us immense promise, potential, and possibility. It's true, we will not be going back to normal, at least not anytime soon. As for the graduates here with us today, although we might wish we could, we cannot go backwards. What we know as normal does not exist for us. The good news is we can go forward, where our goals, dreams, and aspirations are still valid and in many ways more attainable. The truth is the journey ahead of you will be demanding and you will face challenges and hardships. When you do, know that the key to overcoming hardship is the unrelenting audacity to keep a tight grip on hope. When all else fails, hope above fear keeps our sights set on doing what's right, moving forward, knowing that sooner or later, things will turn around in our favor. In doing so, remember not to confuse speed with progress. Go at your own pace, be persistent and dedicated. There is no shortage of potential in any of you. You have to tap into it when the time is right. As we celebrate you here tonight and you go on to your bright futures, we here in Linwood look forward to learning about the amazing things you will do in college, career, and in our nation's military. Know that we believe in you, support you, and we are all cheering you on because you will take the baton, the next leg of the journey, when our time is up. I leave you with these final words to remember. Greatness is in each and every one of you. Stay focused. Chase every dream, face every challenge, and strive for excellence in all that you do. But never forget the wood. Never forget home. Congratulations, class of 2020. We wish you well.